tell me about the Lightness 3. It's a very nice rock sack. Very comfortable carry. Small little point. They've added that. It wasn't, they didn't have a little place for a name tag on the Light Pack 2. That's a small thing, but quite nice. Cool. But very nice quality, very nice, comfortable to carry. Really great. Here we have inside the Lightness 3. Uh, in there. You can see how it's just perfectly made. To fit. There, they've designed it like the Light Pack 2 with the Lightness 2. It's just made to fit perfectly, which is really nice. I've got a semi lightweight glider in here, and that fits really nicely. And you can see here, that's a good opportunity to see how you how the harness folds nicely. Actually, because of, as we'll talk about in a minute, the extra protection, um, it doesn't fold quite as compact as the light, uh, Lightness 2 because of the extra uh, Sastec protector in the back, but it's pretty compact. What you got there then? All these new fly bubble Brommel covers. The new Brommel covers, which are very nice. Smart. Yes, and they're very nice. What I do as well, I just leave them, pull them down, pop it off. Mm -hmm. Nice and easy. So, Lightness 3, it's a lightweight uh, XC harness, pod harness, and um, it's a balance of lightweight. It's not a super lightweight harness, um, you know, for X Alps flying or something like that. And it's not a full heavyweight comp harness. It's a, it's a sort of semi light, what I call a semi lightweight pod harness. It's made to be an everyday harness. It's about three kilos um, for the weight. With the standard speed bag and all the features, the medium size I think is 3.25, including everything. Um, and we've got protector here, which is very similar protector to the Lightness 2, if not the same. So it's it's uh, it's a good size it passes for the certification, um, but it's not a big protector like you have in the heavier harnesses. Does it compress easily? It compresses a bit. It's quite firm, so. Uh, when you fold it up, you can compress it a bit, but it's fairly firm. Yeah. It's not as stiff as, um, say, for example, the, the Woody Valley G2O Lite. That's really firm. This is somewhere between that, a little bit, bit, bit uh, softer than that. Okay, so the reserve, the handle sits inside this pocket nicely there. Mm -hmm. And the reserve itself, is that's the reserve there. Um, I've got a Beamer 3 large in there, it's my reserve. Um, is there any protection once the reserve's out between you and the back? So when you take, with the Lightness 3, there's a, a substantial difference, I think, to the Lightness 2, yeah. is that, yes, there is the Sastec protector runs under your back, it's still there. Um, you do have, with the Lightness 2 as well, the, the sort of comfort foam there, which is about so thick. But with the Lightness 3 in addition, you've got the Sastec protector, which you can kind of see if you come close and see that there. And there's this special high impact protector that's there. So when you pull the reserve, you've still got that. And that runs, while we're mentioning, the Sastec protector runs all the way up to the back, right the way up to, right the way up to there, inside that pocket there. So let's have unzip it. There it is. And it's uh, apparently a very high-tech protector that's made for impact and penetration protection. And underneath that, you've got a what they call a comfort foam, but that also will obviously act as a, a bit of a protector. But it's not that part's not sort of certified protection. Yeah, it's thicker than I would have. Ex I was expecting. It's actually quite a big cushion. Yeah, yeah. And that, as much as anything, contributes to the comfort on your back and the. Yeah. and the stiffness of the harness to, to support your back. So the packing size, again, it's a moderate size, I'd call it. Moderate, it's not big. It's quite deep, long yeah. size. And it's perfectly adequate. I mean, it's, I think it's optimized. It's not, if you're a pilot that carries a whole load of crap, you're gonna struggle to fit it in there, but then you're not gonna aim for a lightweight harness. You might not, if, you're not, if you carry a whole load of rubbish, you're not yeah. prioritizing <laughs> your weight. So it's pretty optimized for what you'd want to carry. That's part of the reason that the Light Pack 3 works really well with it, because it's it's a more compact rucksack. 
than most, so it fits in there really nicely, rolled up. It's yeah. made for it. Now, while we're looking in the back, you've got a little uh, connector. It's quite nifty. It's a good example of advances like attention to detail. And that's for um, hanging your hydro pack on. Yeah. And you can tuck it there, and there's a pocket for that to go in. And then that, you've got your HTO that comes out of there. For me, the Lightness 2 was already one of the most comfortable harnesses around in its class, certainly one of, if not the most comfortable. And um, with the Lightness 3, they've just, it's even more comfortable on the back because it's just got more stiffness in the back without being rigid, it's just supportive. The most important change is here between the Lightness 2 and the Lightness 3. And they've changed, if you have a look at these straps, um, they've changed the geometry of the straps. They've also raised the hang points quite a bit. They're about uh, three or four centimetres higher than the Lightness 2, which is quite a bit. Um, How does that change things? So what it's done is I was actually a little bit concerned that, that um, it was going to end up being, you know, the harness would be, you'd feel like you're too high, too low in the harness and not have enough roll control. It has just smoothed things out. Now, one thing I haven't done yet is I haven't flown the harness in really good thermic conditions. I'm hoping to do that in Tenerife soon. Um, but flying it and doing wing overs and playing around, you just notice the harness is just smoothed out. But it seems so far it feels very nice. It feels like it's not too dampened. So the leg straps are the same as the Lightness 2 and the setup is uh, very similar if not the same. What they've been on this harness is they seem to have done lots of little tweaks which just refine an already pretty refined harness. They've just done lots of little tweaks. For example, it seems like a small thing but Lightness 2 users will notice this is different. Instead of just line, they've added these little webbing straps and I always found with the Lightness 2 but the string would get caught in the throat tread of your feet and it'd be a bit fiddly. This just makes it a little bit nicer to use and it's noticeable so it's nice little tweaks like that. Other changes, this is a bit more for adjustment and um, they've just made the adjustment a little easier rather than just knots. They've put these little balls which makes it really quite easy to slide up and down so you can just pull on it and slide it up and down uh, to adjust, adjust it. it. I want to leave it how I've got it, that's okay. <laughs> Uh, it's already right. had the fly bubble professional trimming service. Yeah. Yes. Um, same got, sort of size. Yeah. Same. What, I think that's five the liter, same. Uh, four liter ballast bag. Yeah. Um, roughly yeah. that. I'm not exactly sure, but it's a good five liter. Yeah. It's perfect for. I put my concertina bag in there, and like my helmet bag and soft things in there. But actually, just like the lightness too, contributes to the support. It's fine without anything in there, but if you add that, it actually improves makes it even better around the bum, nice supportive. So it is noticeable. And while I mention that, don't over ram it. Same as I found with other harness, if you really over ram that, it starts to interfere a bit. Yeah. Same with your back. I mean, this is the same for any harness, but it's important. If you over ram the harness, you start to notice it's kind of pushing into your back and affects your comfort. Um, is there's two different speed bags. So this is the standard speed bag, which to me feels the same as the Lightness 2. So we've not seen the light speed bag yet. So it's obviously for people who are really concerned about weight. I think most pilots are going to want to go for the standard speed bag. That's my feeling because it's not heavy and uh, it's going to be a bit more durable. Uh, the other thing, um, the other major difference is that only with the standard speed bag do you get the option of adding on the windscreen, uh, which is actually quite nifty. So this is what you get with the Lightness 3. Uh, it's like a helmet bag, and then uh, you get the screen, like so. You put that in place, put that in there. It's actually quite easy to get on. And then you just line up the poppers, pop them in. And it's, uh, I have to admit, 
before I flew with this and saw it, I was quite skeptical about the windscreen. I thought, you know, it looks a bit, does it really need it on this kind of harness? Um, but actually having flown with it now a bit, it's kind of, it's not going to be something everybody wants, but you do notice a bit. I did notice the flying in cold conditions, it takes the wind off your face a bit, just takes the wind chill off your body. Um, so that was noticeable. It's not a huge difference. I don't, it's not like from like <laughs> to nothing, um, which to be honest, I quite, I, I want to be able to feel the wind a bit on my face to feel what my airspeed is. Um, but it does actually work nice. Other benefits that I didn't think of is that one, it protects your instruments, the risers topping it. As you can see here, it's actually pretty tough. I thought it might be a bit fragile. It's actually pretty, pretty tough. For example, if you've got your gloves and you're standing on takeoff, it's really quite convenient to just stuff them in there. Small thing, but it's actually quite, quite useful. You can have one of those little Hawaiian uh, hula dancer girls on oh, your, yeah, on your dashboard. Be, yeah, just there, that'd be perfect. Maybe a little uh, Hindu sort of elephant god sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like that, or, or you can throw your Pringles crisps. You can throw a lot of crisps, chuck in, crisps there. in there. Yeah, yeah. So you can have all what you want there in the dashboard. <laughs> and you also did a little bit of filming uh, with your GoPro, just hidden in there. Yep. So we'll have a look at that footage and yeah. see because it, it protects the camera from the microphone from the wind. So, you want some audio? Well, what am I supposed to say? Now you say I want some audio, I've got, I can't think of anything to say. Here I am, flying about, scratching on the hill. Very comfortable, this Lightness 3. Lovely it is. It's a beautiful day-ish. Okay, that'll do it. For people who are flying long flights, very cold conditions or on the speed bar a lot, those pilots are gonna notice a benefit. Other pilots who are just a little bit of recreational flying and things like that, maybe they're not going to bother with it. So. Did it get in the way when you're ground handling? No. Pulling up, launching, leaning forward, it doesn't get in your face? Actually, no, I didn't. Didn't notice it? Didn't notice it at all. In fact, when I, and I run and jump around and ground handle quite a lot, and I found I was doing all that. And in fact, what I noticed was is that my instruments were getting, like, protected from the risers smacking in them, so that's quite nice. A compact harness that's versatile, good for just normal recreational <laughs> flying. <laughs> Always Riding good to have some bike. have a Harley yeah. in the soundtrack. Well, yeah, uh, aficionados will probably tell me that's not a Harley. <laughs> Bonus points for YouTube commenters if you can tell what motorbike it is. <laughs> yeah, carry on. So, um, yeah, so pilots looking for an all-round uh, recreational XC harness. It's, it's really people who particularly want to go into XC flying uh, and compact. You can use it for hike and fly. It's not something you're going to go and do racing hike and fly with. Yeah, I mean, obviously the lightweight speed bag adds, loses Makes a bit of weight. Yep. I think that brings it down to two and three quarter kilos. And you can take some of the protection out. Oh yeah, so and of course. Yeah, well, that's a very good point. So you can, you can take the comfort foam, you could take the Sastec out. You can even take the protector out of the bottom and replace that with your sleeping bag and, and all that. Yeah, so I'm hoping to really test the harness out in some good thermal conditions. I'm going to Tenerife over the Christmas period, so I'm going to give it a test out there. And um, yeah, and I'll be going out to Colombia late January, going to really test it out in some thermic conditions and compare it to some other harnesses to see, to see what it's like. Um, for, harness, for pilots who want something for, say, if they want to do some wagger, and things you can do that with the Lightness 3, but that's not its forte. Uh, pilots looking for a lightweight XE harness that want a hammock style harness, they're not looking for a seat plate. Um, they're really primarily focused on XC flying, then this is a fantastic option. Well built, uh, cross country harness, um, very comfortable. I've had a Lightness 2 since the early ones came out. I mean, I can fly any harness I want, and I, I really like that harness. I've been looking for something to replace it, and I think for me, this does it. Oh, 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 oh,